Welcome to Playa Barragona, Costa Rica. We are here today on this gorgeous beach with a feel-good yoga flow that will energize, strengthen, and awaken your entire body. Moving through sun salutations and different energizing asanas, this practice is perfect to do at any time of the day to help you feel more grounded, powerful, and focused from the inside out. So if you're ready to get started, grab your mat and let's begin. friends let's begin today seated at the back of your mat tuck your toes underneath what we're gonna do is start with a nice toe stretch so bring your feet together and then your hands on top of your knees with the palms open towards the sky just taking a deep breath in closing your eyes and exhale let it go taking this opportunity to find stillness grounding power from within Connecting deeper with this energy inside of you and allowing this energy to guide you forward through your practice today. Take another deep breath in, and this time reach your arms all the way up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, you're going to slowly release your hands, bend your elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades. Good, opening that heart center, opening the chest. And then reaching forward with the arms as you round through the spine. Bring it back as you open and bend your elbows. And then push away into the front. Making this beautiful wave-like motion with your body. Opening through the heart center. Creating lots of movement in the spine here. Good. Reach it forward. Inhale. Bring it in. Push the hands out. And then up to the sky as you come forward into your hands and knees position. Good, cat cow, inhale, arch the back, look up. Exhale, round and release just a few times. Again, welcoming lots of blood flow into the spinal cord here. Warming up the body. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round and release. Inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck that chin in. Inhale, coming back to neutral, tuck your toes underneath, and then this time press into the hands as you push the hips back into your downward facing dog. Once you're ready, go ahead and extend your knees and then begin to walk it out on the spot. Adding as much movement as you need into your body, into your shoulders, pressing each heel down towards the floor. And then as you walk out your feet, just make sure they're about two fists apart and then allow the heels to drop down as you open out through the chest. Holding this downward facing dog, let's go ahead and reach for the outside of your right knee or maybe your right ankle with your left hand as you add a little bit of a twist here. Looking up towards the sky. Good, twisting from the upper body, your lower body stays exactly where it was. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. And again, deep breath in. And exhale, back to center, downward facing dog, right away to the other side. So reach your right hand to the outside of your left knee or maybe your left ankle. Take that opposite twist now. Good, looking up towards the sky, allowing your upper body to twist. Letting go of any tension in your upper back and your shoulders. Inhaling deeply. And 
and exhale come back to center downward facing dog beautiful and then once you're ready just bring your feet a little closer together slowly bend your knees coming back into a hover pose and then push back downward dog inhale back into bear hover the knees and exhale push away inhale hover the knees exhale push away inhale hover the knees last time exhale press away extend through the knees slowly coming back into plank position now and wave the back downward dog continuing with this motion connecting with the breath as you inhale come forward exhale push back inhale round vertebra by vertebra as you come into plank exhale release yourself back downward dog inhale come back into plank and then take your chaturanga release the toes and open into upward facing dog exhale drop the belly drop the chest to the floor moving with the breath inhale come up into your downward facing dog exhale release inhale push into the hands upward facing dog exhale drop the chest down release inhale press and lift lift the thighs off the mat and once you're ready exhale push yourself up into downward facing dog well done let's take an inhale here and then once you're ready on your exhale we're going to begin to walk the feet to the front of your mat so take about four to six steps once you come to the front of your mat bring your feet together and then just release your body as you begin to walk your knees in one spot so bending one knee at a time extending the opposite knee getting a little deeper into those hamstrings just letting go any tension you may be feeling along the back of your legs great job good back to center this time take your hands behind your head interlacing the fingers and then just begin to bob your head up and down letting go of any tension in the neck good just up and down let it release decompressing the spine and then release your hands and roll yourself up to standing take your time inhale and exhale roll the shoulders down once you're ready inhale bend your knees and then lift and extend through the back open up exhale swan dive to the floor inhale halfway lengthen through the spine exhale step your right leg all the way back finding this high lunge crescent lunge as your arms reach up to the sky palms together in prayer bend your elbows dive the body back down coming into plank position and then wave your body back into downward facing dog inhale back into plank position take that chaturanga inhale upward facing dog and then as you exhale press into the hands push back downward facing dog inhale round through the spine into plank again exhale wave back downward dog lots of movement here in the body inhale step your right leg now to the front of your mat arms reach up to the sky palms together in prayer bend your elbows exhale as you dive the body forward fingertips grounded step your back foot to the front of your mat forward fold inhale halfway lengthen exhale fold hold it here and then once you're ready slowly begin to bring yourself all the way up arms reach up to the sky exhale hands at your heart samastiti inhale bend your knees and roll up as you extend bend those elbows throw your head back and then dive it all the way down to your forward fold inhale halfway lengthen exhale this time your left foot steps back reaching both arms up to the sky crescent lunge palms in prayer as the elbows bend and dive the body all the way down this time step back into plank position good and then push your weight back downward facing dog inhale round forward into plank exhale wave back downward dog inhale plank exhale chaturanga 
upward facing dog as you open and exhale push back downward facing dog inhale hold exhale step your left foot to the front of your mat both arms reaching up to the sky crescent lunge palms together slightly opening through the chest as the elbows bend and then dive down to the front ground the fingertips step your right foot to the front of your mat coming into your standing forward fold forehead as close to the knees as possible and then inhale slowly lift yourself up to standing arms up exhale hands at your heart inhale bring those arms up to the sky open through the chest palms together exhale dive down forward fold inhale halfway lengthen exhale step your right leg all the way back holding this posture as your arms reach up to the sky crescent lunge palms of your hands together bring the hands to your heart and then begin to twist towards your left side and then bring that right elbow to your left knee square out your hips coming into this twisted lunge keeping your gaze down or you can look up to the sky the next variation would be to go deeper by extending both elbows and you can stay here or if it's within your practice and you're comfortable you can take a full bind to do the bind you will bend that top elbow bring the arm behind your back and then take that right hand bring it through the legs and interlace your fingers good if this is too difficult for you today no worries just keep the arms extended or you can stay in the first variation awesome now let's slowly from here come out of your bind bringing the palms of your hands back together just taking a second to find that center again taking a deep breath in and as you exhale we're going to slowly come out back to center square off the shoulders reach both arms up to the sky and then pivot and open yourself into warrior two give yourself a moment to find your alignment and then adding lots of movement into the upper body just reaching back and front back and front i want you to really feel this through the whole upper body wave-like motion with the shoulders make this feel good make this feel fun for you and then release all the way back into your peaceful warrior going a little bit deeper into that warrior too breathing deeply into the side body lengthening that entire area and then slowly rounding forward and transitioning into our extended side angle so either the elbow comes over to the knee other arm reaches all the way to the front of your mat or if you like to go deeper, release the bottom fingers all the way to the floor. Now let's add movement in the arms. So what you're gonna do is just start to bring the arm around the front and back for two. Good, just work with the breath and three. You can make the circle as big or small as you like. Four, and one more time. Good, five, beautiful. Come back up into that warrior two get a little bit deeper into that lower body and then pivoting the back toes opening back into crescent lunge arms up and then dive the arms down fingertips to the floor shift your weight forward lift your right foot off the mat and then what you're going to do is just take that right foot over and across the left foot just holding this variation of our standing forward fold allowing your body to release over top of that right knee and then pressing your left hand onto the mat as your right arm reaches up to the sky going a little bit deeper into your hamstring finding that center you can either look down or even look up to the sky whatever feels good for your body inhale and exhale beautiful slowly release your hand release the body what we're gonna do is just begin to turn and pivot to your left keep turning 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 until you land back to the front this time with the left foot over top of your right so it's a quick little transition here now staying feeling the release along the right hamstring and then release the feet step your left foot back into your lunge position we're just reversing the whole movement 
up into crescent lunge, finding that center. Release your hands back to your heart, twist towards the right, left elbow to your right knee. Holding this twisted lunge. And once again, let's take it to what feels comfortable for you. So either stay here or extend both elbows. Hold it there. Or if you like to go deeper, you can take your bind. By taking your bind, you're going to take your top arm and place it behind your back. That front arm comes through the legs, reaches for the fingers. Looking downward towards the top of your mat or maybe even behind you. Just see what feels good for your body. Make sure your alignment is there, your knees on top of your ankle. Breathing deeply, welcoming a lot of detoxification through this posture. Now let's release, come back into your twist with palms together. Untwist the body, arms back up, crescent lunge. Opening the body, releasing into your warrior two. Get as deep as you can. Good, and then let's begin to wave the body forward and back. Just welcoming lots of movement into the spine here. Forward, reach back, forward, reach back. Keep it going. Lots of movement in the upper body. Good, one more. And then open the right palm, release back into your peaceful warrior. As you're holding this peaceful warrior, get a little deeper in the lower body. Bend that front knee a little bit more. Breathe deeply into the side body. Slowly release forward. Begin to come over into our extended side angle. Elbow to your knee. Reach your left arm up. Or remember, you can take it deeper if you wish by placing the fingertips onto the mat, lengthening through the side body here. Look up towards the sky. Good, inhale. Exhale, let's add those circles with the arm for one. Forward and around for two. Breathe with it. And three. And four, well done. Let's hold here for just a breath, extended side angle. And then once you're ready, lead with the arm, bring your body back up, warrior two. Palms open, pivot and turn into your crescent high lunge. Arms reach back up to the sky. Exhale, let's dive the arms to the mat. Shift your weight forward towards that right foot, bend your left knee, and then cross your left foot over top of your right and release into your forward fold. Now we're going deeper into your right hamstring and adding a little twist by reaching your left arm up to the sky. Keeping your gaze down or up, whatever feels best for your body here. And just find your breath, find that connection, find that intention. Breathing deeply. Beautiful. And then once you're ready, slowly release both hands onto the mat and begin to pivot now towards your right. You're gonna turn, turn, turn. Landing yourself back at the front of your mat, but this time with your right foot over your left. Good, find that center, take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the feet. And then plant both feet next to one another. Standing forward fold, bend your knees, roll yourself up for three, two, one. Inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. And exhale, hands over to your heart. Inhale, let's reach back up, opening now, arching your back as much as you can. Exhale, dive to the mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step back into plank position. Chaturanga Dandasana, keep those elbows closed. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift the thighs off the mat and exhale, push and release, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Just take a second now, reconnect with your breath again. And once you're ready, right leg reaches up to the sky, three-legged dog. And then from here, touch the knee towards the chest. Inhale back to three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest for two. Three-legged dog. And three. And reach up. And four. Beautiful. 
reach back out into plank chaturanga upward facing dog and exhale push it back into your downward facing dog go ahead and reach that same leg back up to the sky three-legged dog bend your knee and then this time step your right foot along the right edge of your mat coming into our lizard posture see if you can keep your back leg extended so you're really getting this deep stretch and then release the knee all the way to the mat reaching that right arm all the way to the back grabbing the back toes and then simply begin to pull that back heel as close towards your body as you can simultaneously allow the right knee to fall away from your body so we're creating a lot of deep release in the hips as well as your quadricep good deep breath in keep pulling as much as you can really feel that lengthening sensation and then exhale let go of your back foot bring both hands along the middle of your mat lift the back knee now that right arm is going to reach over towards the lateral side of your right foot and then walk your right foot closer to the midline lower the body and then just look up for one so just little reaches to the floor with the forehead and up for two good reach it down and three it's a real deep hip opening posture here and four good hold it there and then let's release by bring your hands together and bring yourself back into three-legged dog awesome holding your three-legged dog and then turning yourself over into side plank onto your left hand your right knee is in a passe and then extend all the way into your full side plank holding this position just really engaging the oblique muscles and then reaching that top arm towards the top of your mat maybe taking a mudra here with your hand and then to challenge your strength here bring your right knee back up to your chest holding this passe variation and then shift yourself back into plank chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale push it back downward facing dog well done you guys go ahead and lift your heels bend your knees and once you're ready hop to the front of your mat halfway lift exhale fold inhale stand right up reach up to the sky exhale hands to heart good bend your knees and lengthen through the body as you open an arch opening the chest exhale dive to the mat inhale halfway lengthen exhale step back into plank position take your chaturanga inhale lift and open into your upward dog and exhale press back downward facing dog let's take it to the other side left leg reaches up three-legged dog bend your knee knee to chest for one inhale reach it up exhale back to plank knee to chest for two inhale up exhale for three inhale up exhale knee to chest for four inhale reach it up and then transitioning into plank chaturanga upward facing dog as you open exhale downward facing dog on your next inhale go ahead and step your left foot towards the front of your mat and then walk it out so it's along the side as you take yourself into a deep lunge feel free to add a little movement here if that feels good we're really going deep into our lizard here good so a little movement and then once you're ready drop the back knee left arm reaches towards the back foot as you grab that ankle or the toes and begin to pull the heel towards the body going deep into that quadricep stretch as the left knee falls away from you so we're going into a deep hip opening at the same time deep muscle release of the quad good just breathe deeply with each exhalation push a little more and then release release the back toes lift the back knee and then heel toe your foot slightly closer to the midline as your left arm comes to the side dive the body down and up for one lower and up for two so it's almost like you're trying to bring your left leg over top of your shoulder but not entirely of course good and up hold it here really feeling this sensation through your hips get as deep as you can and then bring both hands closer together shift your weight over to your hands 
and bring yourself back over into your plank over to the side your left knee is reaching up and then drop both feet on top of each other reaching your left fingertips to the front of your mat hold it here taking a mudra if you need with your fingers engaging your obliques go ahead and bring your left knee back up into a passe left arm back up and to transition either step forward with your left foot and then step back into plank or you may transition right over into that plank and take your chaturanga upward facing dog and exhale push back downward facing dog well done lift the toes bend your knees hop to the front of your mat inhale halfway exhale fold inhale stand up nice and tall arms up exhale hands to heart inhale bend your knees extend and lengthen up opening through the heart bend your elbows dive it down into your forward fold inhale halfway lengthen exhale go ahead and bring yourself all the way down into your seated position on your mat flex your feet in front straight legs arms reach up and then once you're ready dive forward into your seated head to toe forward fold reach for your toes or maybe the ankles folding from your hips as you release the forehead all the way down to your knees you got it just breathe deeply allow yourself to go further and further as you relax to this posture this is a perfect moment right now to close your eyes we're starting to wind the practice down so breathe deeply connect deeper within yourself check in with how your body is feeling right now with your exhalation give yourself permission to surrender deeper into this posture letting go of any tension resistance you may feel in the legs being patient and acceptant of being exactly where you are in this practice don't force it don't push it just enjoy being exactly where you are slowly come back up to seated release the hands bend your knees bring the soles of your feet together let's take one final hip opening Baddha Konasana butterfly pose walk your hands either towards your feet or all the way to the front of your mat inhale look up and then exhale lower just a few little movements here inhale up exhale lower inhale look up and exhale relax all the way down maybe you can bring your chest all the way maybe the forehead can touch to the floor or maybe you can just stay exactly where you are and enjoy this deep hip opening sensation in the body. Wherever you are, close your eyes. Come back to your breath. Come back to that stillness, that presence that lives within you. And remind yourself that no matter what kind of day you are presented with today, you can always return to this beautiful stillness and peaceful blissfulness within it's there for you you just have to close your eyes and go within so take another deep breath in exhale let it all go let all that tension go let all that worry that stress whatever's holding you back let it all go with your exhalation slowly once you're ready come back up bringing your knees together and let's close up our practice by sitting back over to the center of your mat easy pose hands resting on your knees drop the shoulders away from the ears your eyes are closed you're staying with that deep awareness just breathe inhale and exhale and once you're ready, bring the palms of your hands together. Hands over to your heart. And gently bow down towards your own heart and thank yourself for your beautiful practice today. Thank yourself for taking this time out of your day and doing something good for your body and for your well-being. May this day be beautiful in all the ways that you deserve. 
Thank you for joining me in beautiful Costa Rica. I send you all my love and all my light. Namaste. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much for joining me today for this practice. As you're beginning to start to continue your day, I just wanted to first give all my love to you. And secondly, let you know that if you'd like to go deeper into your practice, you can check out our Boho Beautiful official app. We have tons of exclusive classes, yoga calendars, and so much more. And you can check it out for free as well. And if this is not your thing, the best thing you can do for us is just click that subscribe button as it'll help our content rise to the top and help us bring free yoga to the world. Thank you again. Send you all my love.